Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy Friday, everyone. Well, if you were really looking at our weather quiz question, I wanted to clarify because Dan asked me about it. I said an average of rainy days. How many average rainy days have we had across the area so far this month? And that means the 15 sites we use for data collection here. So an average. So from Salinas to Gilroy up into the Santa Cruz Mountains at Ben Lomond of those 15 sites. How many days have those on average had? Rainfall. We'll answer that coming up in just a few minutes. As for our low temperatures this morning, this was a big part of the story because we had widespread frost all across our region, even near the coast. Marina, 32 degrees with some thick frost. Carmel Valley, 32 as well. Salinas, 34. The warmest spot was Pebble Beach at 43 degrees. Down the Salinas Valley, you can see all of those low 30s as well. 30 degrees in uh, King City, so below freezing there. And as we take a look in the Santa Clara Valley, you can see all those 30 as well down to Hollister, San Juan Batista and all of those mid to low 30s and those are the areas that we also saw some thick frost as well. The coolest spot was Felton at 29 degrees early this morning for the low. As for our highs, that sunshine did warm us up. It felt nice because of the lack of wind and so if you got to sit in the sun it was enjoyable but that chill in the air temperatures only getting to the mid 50s in many locations. It did touch 60 degrees in Santa Cruz though and a few upper 50s. Winds have now died down. We're going to see them pick up in some spots so the wind may influence the frost or maybe lack of frost in some areas. That's going to be the one change tonight versus last night but still going to see a clear sky for the most part. Temperatures cool once again, very similar to where we were last night at this time. Some mid 40s, upper 40s, 49 right now for Sand City, a little cooler in Big Sur at 44. Taking a look at the state view, you can see that big chill across the entire West Coast, including the Sierra freezing temperatures, and then lots of 50s and 40s across the state. As for temperatures for tomorrow, still going to be seeing those cool temps in the 50s for San Francisco to Monterey. Down south, only seeing some low 60s, and then in those cool cooler spots up at the higher elevations, seeing temperatures in the 30s, maybe some 40s. We do have a winter storm watch once again in Southern California, and unfortunately we have to keep talking about this because this could influence uh, travel once again for this holiday weekend. It's the weekend smack dab between Christmas and New Year's Eve and day, and so it's going to be another system we'll be watching closely. You can see grapevine in that area of the winter storm watch, and that's for Sunday night through Tuesday morning. So here's the big picture. You can see those areas in alert. Now again, in. This alert doesn't go on until late Sunday night, so could be seeing decent driving conditions for much of the weekend. In fact, that looks likely. Then we'll start to see some clouds building in on your Saturday, and by Saturday evening into Sunday, we'll start to see more clouds, which will keep us a little warmer at night, so that'll be nice. Uh, tonight and tomorrow look like some of our cooler nights. Then this uh, system comes, brings cloud cover and rain chances, snow chances up in the Sierra. You may see some uh, warnings or watches there, but they've already put out that watch for Southern California as the system looks like it's going to be impactful once again. Forecast for tonight, seeing temperatures near freezing once again and again this is going to depend on the winds if you have a little breeze that's going to prevent the frost but it's going to feel colder against your skin so be prepared for that early in the morning and make sure you have a nice warm coat as you head out the door temperatures expected to be in the mid 30s maybe some upper 30s could be near 40 in some of our coastal areas but overall a cool start and then for tomorrow another cool day starting off sunny and then by the afternoon a few more clouds increasing and breezy conditions especially by later in the day coolest spots expected once again in the Santa Cruz Mountains with some low 50s to mid 50s. Breaking it down for Santa Cruz for you, more sunshine on your Saturday, especially early, increasing clouds, and then temperatures warmer, but still cool in the upper 50s, and then mid 50s for Sat or Sunday with those shower chances. So shower chances really look like it's going to be mainly overnight Sunday night, but they start in the day. Could actually have an embedded thunderstorm with that, so we'll keep an eye on that. And then looks like for your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day holiday plans, uh, again, heavy travel and looks like it is going to be on the clearer side, so that's good. Also, the night temperatures are going to get a little more comfortable. A little warmer. Yes, yes. but not much. Okay. All right.